Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show how you can create a spray paint overlay on top of any of your materials inside Keyshot. And uh, the technique is quite simple actually, so let's just jump straight into it. So here in Keyshot, I have my model and um, let's just open up the material graph for this material like this and rearrange the windows to uh, make space for everything we need like this. So this base marble texture is just uh, a bitmap texture uh, going into the color and to the roughness and to the bump. So you can do whatever you want here. And uh, First step to make this spray paint overlay is to add a new material in the material graph and let's pick the paint material and make it nice red like this, drag it up here and it's being added as a label. One thing I want to do here is to go to uh, the base material, go to the texture tab select the bump and go down to the bottom and check this apply bump to labels if it is not already active. This, uh, this will make the bump texture here go through and show on this paint overlay texture as well. What we need to do from here is to mask out this paint overlay to, uh, to what we are looking for. All right, so now we have to create an opacity map that looks like this spray paint texture. And to show just the concept very quickly, uh, I will add this uh, color gradient to the opacity map and make this red black. So if we show the color information, we have this for this color gradient, and you can see that everything that is black is going to be transparent. Um, so. If we rotate this, add in a black marker here, edit the scale to, I don't know, 30 maybe. Move this up. Add in another white to make the transition sharper. Yes, like this. So this would be a quick and dirty way to do it, but we want it to be a bit more painty looking and we also want these drips to get down. To create that, we have to go into Photoshop and create our mask, our opacity map. So let's jump into Photoshop. All right, so we want this map to to wrap around the entire head. So it needs to be a, a wide map. So let's go with something like, uh, I don't know, 5,000 times 1,500. Let's uh, check it out and see how it looks. I think this is, uh, it's looking quite good. So create a new layer and pick a hot brush. Take down this size to uh, something like this and paint like the base part of this strip. To make it look like spray paint, I have found two set of brushes on uh, the internet uh, that I'll use to, uh, to create this spray paint edge. I have linked to the brushes in the uh, description below, so check them out. The first thing I want to do is to use a brush like this to uh, create like a general spray painted border across the top here. So something like this, and now this looks quite messy. So I'll just take the marker tool, delete it and take this part of it. Command C, Command V, duplicate it and bring it down. Command T to rotate and hold down uh, shift to lock. 
get into 180 degrees. All right, so now we have like the base material. Now we want to add in the drips. So here, in one spot, we want uh, some drips like this. And actually, I want them to be longer. So I'm just going to uh, adjust the size of my uh, my composition here. So like this, go back to brush by pressing B on the keyboard and uh, add in some nice drips. Yes, I think this is good. To add in some more details, I have this second set of brushes, which is more like splats and stuff like that. Uh, so I use those to uh, just add in some uh, some details at the edges. That will make everything a bit more interesting to look at. Like this. So now we're done with this map and we're going to save it out as uh, a PNG on the desktop and just call it uh, spray mask. While we are in Photoshop, I want to uh, take these two layers that I've created and merge them into one by pressing Command E. And then I want to uh, blur it slightly. And we're going to use this blurred map for our bump map. And by blurring it, we get some uh, nice edges. I will show you when we are back in Keyshot uh, what it would look like if the edges are not blurred. So let's go with something like 14, hit OK, file, save as, a PNG again, and let's call it spray bump. All right, now let's head back into Keyshot. I'll go ahead and delete this color gradient map. We don't need it anymore. And instead load in a, a texture map. Double click it and uh, go to the desktop and load in this spray mask.png and put it into this opacity channel. Now look at that. Here in the uh, mapping type, we want to use cylindrical. And um, that doesn't look very good. So I adjusted using this mapping tool. You can see that it's mapped in the wrong direction. So I am going to uh, turn this around like this, holding down shift to log it to uh, 90 degrees. It seems like it's on its head as well. So I am going to rotate it this way, like so. And then I'm going to uh, uncheck repeat because I don't want it to repeat. Again and again, I just want one instance and then I'll move it up where I want it. Mm. Yeah, what was wrong with the scaling here? I don't know. Move it up. Okay, let's just uh, rotate it by this angle slider. Type in 180, like so. And drag it down. Then you can... Uh, rotate it to uh, to get the placement that you like. Maybe we should give him a, a nose bleed on this one. Poor guy. All right, like this. So when we turn around this uh, model, you can see that it's nicely mapped around his entire head. Last step is to add the uh, bump map and just to show what it would look like if we didn't blur the edges. Um, I'll duplicate this uh, opacity map and put it into the bump. And you'll see that we get um, some very sharp bumps and it, it looks like 
it's bumped out, but it's like a flat and painted. And paint would behave a bit different. It would have like a more curved surface. Which is why we created this blurred map. So go ahead and load it in. Spray bump.png, hit OK. And you can see right ahead it looks way better. Go down and adjust the bump height to uh, something more visible, like 0.5. So sake. Uh, I want to adjust the height a bit of this map so it will get, or so the blood will flow out of his nose or paint or whatever. That's it. That's how you make a spray painted overlay on top of any material in Keyshot. I hope you learned a trick or two, and uh, if you did and want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below and share with all your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.